Hello, I'm Tiny Pirate. Welcome back to Season 2 of Planet Base. In the last game, everybody died. In fact, to be fair, in most games everyone dies. I don't know why that is. Maybe I'm not very good. Maybe this game is new to me. Right, let's drop us right in the middle of that. Patch of white. What's the worst that could happen? Pirate Funland. Start game. Alrighty, so... In the early game on Planet Base, I have decided you need to be quite quick and very efficient. So, at times I might sound a little distracted. It's because I need to be basically keeping everybody moving as fast as possible, getting everything up as fast as possible. Otherwise, your people starve to death, um, run out of water and uh, dehydrate to death, uh, die of exhaustion because apparently sleeping on the floor is too good for some people, namely these people. Yeah. So you need to do things quite carefully. To make sure you've got maximal efficiency. Ooh. Oh wow, that's a lovely wide open plane. So I'm going to start by getting our, our oxygen down here. Our, whoopsie. No. Our airlock facing this way. Ah, come on. And what I want to do is make sure there's always some building going because that building will, uh, will will keep everyone busy. Everyone needs to be busy basically all the time. Uh, I'm going to go for building my power systems this way and I'm going to start with a medium uh, solar panel and a water extractor. What's the difference to? I'm going to go for a medium water extractor. I'm going to keep that nice and neat. Let's go for straight lines. Very important. Okay, I can risk speeding up for a second. So I've been playing quite a few times, uh, quite a few games since since I died in the last season. Believe it or not, it is possible to fit in a few games because dying is surprisingly uh, rapid once it all goes wrong. And and I do like to kind of try and build a sort of efficient um, starting base, get everything up and running, you know, sort of neatly. And that does involve a little bit of um, playing things close to the edge. So I'm going to be a bit crazy and go for a full size power storage. And you'll see why that's important later on. I think I could have built it first. It could be queuing power up for us right now. That's all right. The power storage I find is really, really vital because what it does for you is insulate you from poor weather, essentially. So uh, when you've got bad weather, um, that power uh, supply, that power storage will help you uh, survive through it really it gives you enough power to keep everything running and starting off with a big one is not a bad idea look how fast that's growing through the day that's really helpful all right enough talking back to building um, 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 um. next thing i really want is a food thing because otherwise they will get themselves dead because they're idiots so it doesn't need to be that big is that nice and straight yes i'm one of those gamers it's not it's not straight. I'm sorry, everyone who's watching. I'm very sorry. I won't do this all the time. Just some of the time. That'll do. I'm sure that's fine. Okay, so that is being built. They've all refreshed their oxygen supplies. I've noticed that there's um, seven of them, which amuses me because in Dwarf Fortress, obviously you start with seven dwarfs, which I think perhaps is a nod back to the old tales, of course. Snow White and all that. Rimworld, I believe you start with seven colonists. I wonder if that is a nod uh, to the developers. That would, sorry, to the, to the developer of Dwarf Fortress and a nod to Dwarf Fortress itself. That would be, that'd be pretty cool if that was the case. So that collector is dropping. We're not too bad. I'm going to go for a windmill and make it larger. So one thing I've noticed is to get a three-way connection, or to get the option of a three-way connection, you need to move things until you see two green lines. And then, and then I now wiggle the mouse. You see how nothing's moving? It's snapped in place. That will be a stable three-way connection if I want it. And of course, then it defies me by not doing that. Okay, well, <laughs> trust me, 80% of the time that works. Uh, I have actually dropped a message to developers on their Steam page saying, making it clear when you can do a two or three-way uh, connection would be really helpful. And uh, hopefully they'll listen to that because it really helps building a nice, neat base if you can do that. Whoa, what am I doing? Slow down. Enough talking. That's a bit silly to say when you're doing a let's play, I suppose. Uh, we need water. We need food. 
Um, don't, don't lie to me. No, that's lies. I know you can fit in there. Uh, food. Water. And a TV. Put it over there so we can watch it too. Okay, so... That's nice. That's heaps of power. No problem at all now. Power should not be a problem for a while. Okay, dome, biodome. This is, well, I think it's important that this is big. Um, this is what's going to give you, go there. This is what's going to feed your, your, your citizens for the longest time. So you might as well make sure that it is a good one. This is a dead end, so I don't mind where that hangs. As close over there as possible is perfectly valid. Okay, your, your people need to sleep or they will die. So how are they going to be able to... No problem, there's heaps of power left. That's going to top it up. That's a nice reserve power. And F4. No problem, tons of oxygen. Oxygen, really, you don't need to build a big one early on. It's just the limit of colonists that you uh, can have. So you just got to keep a conscious mind not to go over that limit. As I have done before. And yeah, everyone died. So... Hmm, survival reached. Okay, water's in, so they're not going to die of that. They're not going to die of lack of food, other than when they run out, which is fine. Okay, tent's filling up. Get rid of the roof there. Beds. Just. Yeah, one bed. And two beds. Should be plenty. Oh, almost too much. How's this going? Now, one thing I noticed is that the resource count at the top includes stuff that's placed on on pads. Okay, we can recycle that for a few more resources now. This can be a little uh, confusing when you're new. You tend to think you've got resources, but you don't. They're tied up in pending construction, and that's a really fast way to lose the game. You think you're fine, you, you, you've got everything you need, but no, no, you don't. Um, okay, let's slow down and think about our pad construction. I'm not going to go for peas. Too much high maintenance work there. I'm going to go for one each of these starchy vegetables. Even the slow ones. One uh, medicinal. Maybe one fast growing tomato just for um, just for emergency food supply reasons. Now I need to get a mine underway and a factory. Can I do it? This is where I find out I've calculated everything wrong, isn't it? I know. Um, mine. Oh, that's uh, quite a good spot for a mine. Yeah. And that's three resources spent. That should be okay. Farming is underway. People are sleeping. Good. They're not going to die of sleep or lack thereof. So that, that, right. One more absolutely required building processing plant. And I'm going to put it here. I'm going to make it a bit larger. Four and four. That should be okay. Yep. Okay, let's make sure these connections all work. Yes, there you go. So you worked that time. Now we're going to have a nice neat base focused on this hub. What I really do want to build quite quickly is a medical bay because they will um, start to suffer injuries and if they don't get treatment they just hang around in beds or die or yeah have a bad time. I'm feeling confident, somewhat confident, that we won't lose this game. <laughs> Believe me that is an achievement. Uh, no, nothing is going badly here. Why are you so sad? Why are you so sad, mister? I know what will cheer you up. I know what always cheers me up. Pot plant. But I can't afford a pot plant right now. Can't afford it. Must focus. Must focus on these because... One, two, ooh. Actually... Let's just... Yep, 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 yep. Yep, good. Okay, we have to make sure this gets built and that we have resource for putting up stuff. Otherwise, we'll be in trouble. Do we have enough? It might actually be a little bit close. I might have to tear down a bed. 
so I can produce the required factory bits. Oh no, it should be okay. Look, there's a spare one out there. That's okay. Now, everything we need. One metal processor. One plastic. Okay, that's fine. Hang on. <laughs> that's dumb. Uh, let me explain why that's dumb. Oh no, that's fine. That's fine. What am I saying? It's fine. Okay, everything's good there. Oh, do I not have a TV in here for you guys? No, I have a TV. How about a pot plant as well as a TV? Oh, you guys are so spoiled. Okay. Awesome. We are now nearly at a kind of sustainable sort of base. I mean, it's not perfect, but no one is any in, at risk. Sorry, no one is at risk of any immediate uh, death, self-sufficiency. I'm going to put a pathway there. Take it back. Oh, you. You. Who are you? Who are you, my little Lex? Lex Cock. You're not related to the Cock Brothers, are you? Lex Luthor and the Cock Brothers? Hmm. That would be a interesting combination. Now, why are these people sad? Why are you sad? You're making plastic for us, which I like. Oh, better not forget our do 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 sick bay. Can we squeeze it in? Just over here. I think he's good. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't need to be big. Okay, gentlemen and ladies, build that up. So this part gets a little slow because we rely on all of this production to take place. But I think I can afford another one of those. Good. And I can put that on high priority, so these will hopefully see everything produced much more more quickly okay we're not suffering from loss of food that's good people are not going to immediately die power is still good i'm really pleased that i don't have to expand this uh i find if you start with the small ones you, you do have to worry about expanding them about now and resources start to get a bit tight okay why are you not uh, that's okay, I don't mind that so much. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, we'll leave that. That's fine. I'd rather get the sick bay up than worry about another corridor right now. Now, how are these things doing? Not too bad. Time for a pad, I think. Fairly cheap to make. Can we squeeze it over here somewhere? Um, I don't want to have it too far away from the door. Oh, look at that. Sick bay's up. Brilliant. Thought it might take a bit longer. Well, a bit far away from the door it's going to have to be. Doesn't need to be perfect. That's five of those resources done. Uh, one bed in here would be a good idea. We have got enough. Maybe two beds. Do we actually have a uh, nurse? Where are we? Num F2? good we have got one nurse that's helpful so feeling confident feeling happy and confident and I will chuck it in that corridor there just to get things ticking along nice and efficiently so people can move around between these bits and the pad is up the pad is up awaiting our first colonists who are going to be predominantly botanists and workers Botanist. Why do I keep saying that? Biologists, biologists and workers. And that will keep our production up nicely. Come on, workers. Someone go out and fix it. Not needed to use any spare parts yet. That's good. Brilliant. You can recover that if you like. No? Yes? No? Okay. I await eagerly our first colony ship. Oh, no. Oh, get fix it. Fix it. It smashed, it smashed our airlock. Oh no. It's getting repaired, it, it's working. And our first colonists arrive. Excellent, who are they? They're waiting. The biologist and a worker. Bean. Should have been called, called Bean really, the biologist. Never mind. Borg, the biologist. What an ominous start. Hmm. How are we, how are we looking in our, 
our bio hall here. And here's a trader. Great. Do you have anything? Of course you do. You have many things I want. Constructor bots. And 35% commission as well. Onion. Oh, that's so expensive. Wow. Mm, don't, what do I actually need? Some of those? What can I afford to sell? Oh, so many questions. Difficult, difficult decisions. Don't need lots of that right now. Kind of cocky and confident here, so... Yep, let's trade that. Okay, are they still fixing that? Okay, good. I was... Yeah. Can we... Now, this is why you sometimes want backup connections, which I've just built. Yeah, you don't want to lose connection to your power grid. That would be fatal. No other backup connections? That's fine. Okay. It's probably a good time now to, uh, to stop, have a little think about things, and come back in episode two. Everything is starting to look really awesome. Food production needs to go up. Other than that, we shall do that in the next episode. In the next episode, we will get food production up, start producing high order goods, and increase our population. Until then, I've been Tiny Pirate. I hope you've enjoyed this Let's Play of Planet Base. Catch you soon.